All right, less. You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. Rolling of the ship got your stomach churning, has it? Mm. Don't seem like seasickness, now that I look at you. It'll be the ether, then, I reckon. Some are more sensitive to the stuff than others, see, and we ain't too far from Bullbrand now, which is chock full of etherites. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. Erg. Might as well have been bloomin' seasickness. Ship's leapin' around like a demented chocobo today. I reckon I might head out on deck get myself a breath of fresh air. Limsalaman saw still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seein' as you're awake and all, how's about you keep me company till we get there? The Myung UNS don't much care for conversation, see. Enderode, Brennan's the name, and Pedlin's me trade. Smell that salty sea breeze. Now then, lad slash lass, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you were one of them new adventurers. Am I warm? I knew it. Go in wherever the wind blows, seek in fortune and glory now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventurin's a risky business these days especially. Why did you become an adventurer? Fortune, eh. Well, it's a dream we've all had at one time or another. Once you've learned to handle yourself in a fight, you'll want to pay a visit to whichever Crafton or Gatharin guild tickles your fancy. Limsalamansa's renowned for its smith ties and armorers, not to mention its fisherfolk. And then there's its cooks, of course. Adventurin ain't just about killing things, after all. A peaceful pastime may well help you make your fortune. Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and glory. Such as breathing. Ain't no profit in vain dead, and that's a fact. Ships off the starboard bow. Pirate colors. Pirates. Bloody hells. 
Have you no sense? Get below. What is the world coming to? Pirates firing on a ship fly in lamin sand colors. Bastards either have a boatload of balls, or bugger all for brains. Ya can rest easy, friends. We've made it out o' cannon range, and no buccaneers bark catch this flighty temptress once the wind's in her sails. That was too bleeding close. Glad one of us kept his slasher head on his slasher shoulders I reckon I dve lost mine, otherwise. If them pirates gave up the chase, we must be close to port. Let's head up on deck and have us a look, shall we? By the by, is this your first trip to Limsalam and Sop? It is. Well then, let this journey itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Ahem. Limsalam and Sop prides itself on Baini Orzia's foremost naval power. Weren't too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to the current admiral's civilizing influence, the city-state could almost pass for a respectable nation. You'd never guess she was once a rumswillin' buccaneer herself. Hehe. <laughs> Of course, most folk ain't so quick to change, and with a town full of liberty-loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she's got to deal with like them pirates who took a fancy to us just now. And if that weren't bad enough, I've heard the Sahajan are raiding the coast just as bold as you please. The Marie the Seedwell and Beastmen the locals call fishbacks, case you didn't know. Ah, at long last. Land ho. Behold Limsalam and Sa, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of Limlane, goddess of navigation. On a windswept isle in the southwestern corner of the realm. Amidst the roiling waves of the Rotong Sea lies the maritime city state of Limsa Luminsa. To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. Lone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane. What realm-shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? And here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares, then it's onto the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this by way of thanks for saving me arse earlier. Hey you never did tell me your name. Did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider us square. Through peril and hardship, discovery and triumph, may the navigator guide this brave soul on her life's voyage. Till sea swallows all.
Hey. You there. I, I mean you. This is my district, and I make it my business to know all the scum that washes up in it. Ah, an adventurer fresh off the boat, is it? Well then. Allow one of Limsalamansa's finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, lass, I haven't got all day. Now then, I'm sure you're itching to explore, but adventurers are required to register their presence in the city, and without a bit of local knowledge, you're like to get your throats lit in some piss stinking alley. So before you do anything else, get yourself over to the Drowning Wench and enroll with the Adventurers Guild. It's not far just head straight down the street and speak with Grefair. He'll show you how to work that big moving platform we call the Crow's Lift, and that'll take you up to the pub. Once you're there, look for a fellow by the name of Bader and he's the proprietor of the wench. He might curse like an ale sodden sailor, but the man's got a soft spot for wide-eyed newcomers like yourself. He'll set you straight. Got all that? Good. Now run along, and may the navigator guide you on your journey. Welcome to Limsalam and Sa. If you've a mind to visit the Drowning Wench, the Crow's Lift will take you there. Greetings to yet, lass. What lit be? Ah, but you ain't here for the drink, are yet? Ye be come with a mind to try your and at bet your in, I reckon. Well, ye'll find no shortage o' work here in Limsa. The name's Baderin, and this most hospitable of hostelries is the Drowned Wench. Tis also the Omo the Venturers Guild, here in Limsa. That's why we've got a desk specially for and Lin Guild business and why I seem to spend more time saving the next o' whelps like yourself than wet in the throats o' me regulars. Adventurers have a knack for finding trouble, see. Not that they need it in these parts, on account of their bane trouble wherever ye look. If ye manage to steer clear o' the fishbacks and the cobalts outside the city, the pirates on the inside will get ye instead. And if they don't manage, there's always the Garlean Empire to finish the job. Oh, no one knows what they're planning, of course, but if they're planning anything, ye can be sure it's to kill the lot of us. I, this town seems peaceful at a glance, but look again, and ye'll see a people living in fear o' oh, what tomorrow might bring. And who can blame them, after everything that's happened? Eorzea took a mighty blow during the calamity, but our ohms weren't the only things what got wiped off the face of existence by that thrice damned bastard of a dragon. It took our bleeding memories, too. And no one's been able to explain it in a way as makes an onso sense. None o' oh, the folks what saw it and lived to tell the tale seem to agree on how the tale actually goes. Tis all foggy, like recollections from an art night on the ale. Ye can imagine why people might fear for the future if they can't rightly recall the past. But there is one thing we all remember, and that's the group of venturers what laid down their lives to drag Eorzea back from the brink, when she was bound for the abyss. Well, I say we remember. Truth is, though we ain't forgotten what they did for us, this god's damned calamity spawned memory loss robbed us o' oh their names. It won't even let us picture their damn faces. Tis like staring at a gull flying in front o' oh the sun all ye see in your mind's eye is a shadow set against a blinding glare. And that's how every bugger describes it, by the way, give or take the odd gull. It's this what's got people callin' these arrows the warriors o' light. If Limps is ever goin' to put this time o' darkness behind it, it's goin' to need venturers to help banish the fear. It's goin' to need new arrows like the ones we lost. Maybe one day ye'll be one of them. And that's why any aid we can give to a venturer is effort well spent. What say ye, lad slash lass? Ye willin' to lend us your strength? Me thanks to ye, and to the navigator and all. 
I knew she'd steered you my way for a reason. Ah, but listen to me, you are an unlike a sun-touched fishwife. Tis I time we got your mark in me book. Put your scrawl right there. Mama Foxy is it? And a fine name it is. Congratulations. You're now an upstanding member of the Venturers Guild. You there adventurer. You sailed in on the last ferry, did you not? The captain reported being attacked by a pirate vessel. And several witnesses have testified independently that a passenger matching your description went out on deck mere moments before the incident took place. Sending your friend signals, were you? Now hold on to just a moment there, officer. Yeah, he got the wrong lass. This fine, upstanding young gent slash lady is me dear departed grandma's sister's niece's cousin's closest companion. The lad slash lass wouldn't be caught dead fraternizing with such unsavory elements. Dot is that right? Ahem. You are surely aware of the recent kidnappings. Respectfully, then, we cannot be too trusting of outsiders at a time when the loyalty of even our closest friends is in doubt. Yeah, yeah make a good point there, officer, a very good point. Very wise. Yeah needn't worry, though I keep one eye open at all times, me, and two more often than not. Now, sir, what say ye to a tankard owe me finest ale afore ye return to your duties, eh? Not a watered down cup of piss like last time, I should hope. Ain't got the faintest idea what you're on about, officer. The wench might offer some o' the cheapest grog to side o' the straight o' Merle Thor, but that don't mean it won't get ye good and pickled. And look, there's a chair over there just crying out to be sat on, so kick off them Evie boots, eh? Ye lobby to excuse these eager bloody yellow jackets. There's been a spate o' kidnappings, see, and they ain't got a clue who's behind them. Naturally, they've taken to clapping irons on anyone who looks vaguely suspicious, which means venturers, visitors, and pretty much every bugger else in this town. Don't take it personal, though. Us Laman Sands can be an eat strong bunch o' bastards, tis true, but given time, we'll grow on yet. Now, where was I? Oh I. Uh, welcome to Limsa Laman Sa, where the sea's as green as the faces only patrons after a few too many black belly whiskies. Now, take a moment to gather your lids, and we'll get started with learning yet a ways of the city.